All right, guys, so this is the side bend. All right, the side bend is going to help with the QL or quadratus lumborum. What you want to do is make sure you stagger your feet, okay? So whatever side you're holding the dumbbell, you want to make sure that foot is in front of the uh, other foot. So you sort of got this stagger going on, just like this. And obviously, you want your feet hip width apart. You're going to put the opposite hand on the back of your head. You're going to stay with your shoulders over your hips. Okay, so we're not going to be bent over, not going to be arc back, we're going to be here. What you want to think about doing is getting a good stretch and then squeezing your obliques as you come up. Make sure you actually get a crunch. Now, one of the major mistakes that people make is they'll get the stretch, but instead of getting a crunch, they'll sort of shift over to the side. So if you look where my elbow's pointing right now, it's pointing that way, when in reality, it should be pointing this way. So it's that crunch action we're looking for, not a sort of shift of the lower back. That's when guys run into pain. So stretch, get a stretch here. And I'm squeezing. Okay, I'll show it here, facing this way, so you can see what I mean. I'm not bending forward, keeping my shoulders over my hips. 